did pick up the lone assist on that game tying goal by Ben Harris. This is his first of the season as well. So, with 51.3 seconds left on the clock, the Booty's finally showing some life, getting a couple of chances there late, and then picking up another shot by Kaylin Long. But the shot total now favors the Cubs 29 to 21, Matt. Face off inside the Cubs zone. That's one by the Voodoo's. Ricci controlling it. Takes the shot. Bouncing puck and it's in. The Voodoo's take a 4-3 lead with 46 seconds remaining on the clock. It looks like Shields is going to get his second. He says, you take away my game-winning goal. Not today. I'll get another one, baby, potentially, as there's 46 seconds left on the clock. And he was ready. He did get the third goal, and now he gets the fourth as Sudbury tries to plead their case a little bit. I don't know what they'd be pleading about, but it was a really weird bouncing puck, almost a knuckle puck that just kind of bounced its way through and maybe hit a body in front.